Comic Asides, now on BBC Two, the series of comedy pilots continues with a rollicking good seafaring tale, Woodcock. You'll find we haven't left Portsmouth yet. Just practicing, sir. Here I stand, a boy on the verge of manhood, and already I'm off on a great adventure. Look at my log, sir. Not now, Woodcock. There's work to be done. March the 1st, 1793. Press ganged at last. <laughs> Been trying for ages, but never met the right people. <laughs> Hope to discover the new world. <laughs> mistaken, Woodcock. You'll be screaming for your mother half an hour before we set sail. Not me, sir. She's deaf. Oh, I'm terribly sorry to hear that. Mother said it was God's will. Father blamed a short fling with the town crier. <laughs> but what are we waiting for? Let's go. Not so fast. Not so fast. There's rails to be polished. Decks to be swapped. Knots to be... knotted. I painted the ship's name, sir, like you said. Not like I said, Woody. I said, do it properly. Look at those ships out there, Woody. HMS Lizzie the First, the spirit of exploitation. Now, what you've written, Woody, is Woodcock. What's the only name I can spell? Pity it's upside down. You didn't do my local by any chance, did you? Which one's that? The Woodcock and Woodcock. <laughs> You'll have to be punished, of course. Why not confiscate my wooden leg, sir? That's what my mother used to do. She used to say, Elvis? You... Elvis? <laughs> I never knew you had a first name. Uh, it was a precautionary measure, sir, in case I made something of my life. <laughs> <laughs> she used to say, Elvis, you've been a naughty boy. Leg? <laughs> it's your leg, the only part of you that isn't part of you, Woodcock. This arm, sir, a couple of teeth, the left side of my brain. <laughs> Elvis Woodcock. Half man, half pine forest. <laughs> Do you know what I really miss about England when we're away, Woody? The thwack of leather on willow. <laughs> really hurt. Let me go all dizzy. My pleasure. You know, Woodcock, maybe I've struck lucky with you. Just think of me as the father you never had. I had a father. Yeah, but that was the father you had. <laughs> what in the name of... What are you up to? Just dropping the topsail, sir. Give me that. It's a good job the first mate isn't here. Dropping a topsail without an order is a hanging offence. Quick! I half oh, thanks for the lift, gentlemen. But as I made abundantly clear when I regained consciousness, there was really no need to press gang me in the first place. <laughs> I work here. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to sign there, then. Mac... Iavelli... Slime. <laughs> right you are, then. One more, and that's you a lot. Cyril, what an unexpected pleasure. Not the captain, are we? <laughs> Good. And who might this gallant cabin boy be? Woodcock, sir. At ease, Woodcock. But, sir... Hands behind your back, boy. But... Behind your back, Woody. <laughs> <laughs> nice talking to you, chaps. 
Well, get off, would you, now? But, sir! <laughs> if that rope would come away, you'd have been shark droppings by noon. But, sir, this is a great new adventure for me. A one-way ticket to the bilge, more like it. Seven years with the rats, Woody. Courtesy of slime. You know him, sir? Know him? I know him, all right. My dad was his dad's gamekeeper, and it was always master slime this and master slime that. He used to thrash me, and me dad, and me man, and me maternal granny on a admittedly infrequent visit from a throne. <laughs> I haven't seen him since he was six years old. But I always swore. If I ever clapped eyes on him again, I'd kill him! I would! I'd, I'd kill him! No one's that evil, sir. He can change. I'll help him. I'd rather teach a one-armed man the banjo. I'll kill him! I will! I'll, I'll kill him! I'll, I'll, on behalf of the crew, sir, I would like to welcome you on board this ship. <laughs> I wish you a very pleasant voyage. Pleasant, Cyril? I do hope not. Oh, uh, uh, so do I, sir. So do I. You're not a bad man, are you, sir? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Only, sir said you were evil, and I said you weren't that bad, and he said... Oh, and I said everyone can change, and he said he'd rather teach a one-armed man the banjo. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. Hysterical. You have a first name, boy, or didn't they bother? Tell him, Elvis. Elvis! You're a good lad, Elvis. But can I change? There I feel is the nub of it. <laughs> of course you can. I'm deeply moved, Elvis, and for your sake, I must try. I truly must. <laughs> I see you've set the topsail, Elvis, all by yourself. Well, I... it was nothing, sir. Not so. It was insubordination. And I won't have insubordination on my ship. I'm afraid it's the plank for you, Elvis. Tried it before, by any chance. Uh, not as such, sir, but I learned quickly. Uh... What exactly do I do? It's all perfectly straightforward. Toddle down to the end. Veer south. Die. <laughs> die? That is the normal procedure, yes. But I, I don't want to die. Dying, Elvis, is the whole point of the exercise. <laughs> Grand day for it, my child. Boy, where's the housekeeper? <laughs> you were going to try and be a good man. I did try, Elvis, but it just it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't swim! Observe his terror, Cyril. Isn't it simply exquisite? Oh, oh, give him another chance, sir, please. Oh, Cyril, come, come. It's not as if the lad is ill or anything. But he is ill. Accident with a cricket ball. Tragic. It's true, sir. I am ill. It's my head. It's gone all dizzy. You see? That does change matters somewhat. I like my victims to be vital and alert. Elvis, return this instant. Right away, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Off to the doctor, Elvis. Get that head fixed. What a nice man. And then it's walkies at dawn. <laughs> You have it, Doc. <laughs> One minute I was translating the Tibetan Book of the Dead into Gaelic, the next, bang! <laughs> you certainly move me in mysterious ways, Lord. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. It says here that you're the doctor. <laughs> no, no. You listen to me, my good man. If the telephone hasn't been invented yet, why did you accept the call? <laughs> What well, seems to be the problem? I've got a headache, sir. A headache, I see. Standard practice is to remove a leg. What? <laughs> the removal of a leg takes your mind off it. The same treatment as recommended for stomach cramps, bad posture, and uh, corns. Bad posture? Oh, I, <laughs> it isn't actually corrected, but it does serve as an explanation of thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> work. Help! That's what I'm here for, lady. <laughs> In good time, my boy. <laughs> we'll just uh, lop the leg off below the knee. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that reminds me. The use of an anaesthetic is recommended at this point. However, I, Hector McGregor, favor this. Father! <laughs> my flock has need of me, Lord. 
not. Stick around. <laughs> you were saying my child? I bid you good day, sir. He's going to kill me! What? Do you question my methods? <laughs> well, um, yes, I do. <laughs> this is an outrage! I tell you one thing, my child, you're bloomin' lucky I was in town. And what exactly <laughs> do you propose? Why the last rites, you aegis? <laughs> Are you suggesting that my patient is about to snuff it? That's about the size of a dock. Don't you dock me! I do admit that this treatment has a 100% failure rate at present. Look at it this way. I've got to hit lucky sometime. <laughs> Don't let it get to you, Stanley. You're just the head of your time. <laughs> sir, sir, we've got to do something about this ship. Do something? I've only been on board half an hour and I've almost been murdered twice. Yeah, well, it's not all rub toddies, grass skirts and the South Sea syncopators. <laughs> if this trip is going to work, and I fully intend to make it work, I shall need your help. Oh, you will, will you? Well, I think you can safely say I'll not be found wanting. The doctor's got to go for a start. Consider it done. And father. He's gone. And I'm not too happy about some of the rules. Only some of them, Woody. Down with all of them, I say. Exactly. I mean, why have rules at all? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Philosopher. <laughs> Perhaps we could all take turns of being <laughs> What a brilliant idea! You first, Cyril? Oh, no, not me, sir. I, I was born to serve me, sir. Serve, Cyril. Ah, oh, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> it's the bilge for you, Elvis. The bilge? Seven years? Nonsense. You leave us at dawn, remember? <laughs> All you require is an overnight bag. <laughs> but, sir, what about the rats? Hmm. Tickler shoulders. <laughs> Try hopping. Forgive me for saying so, Doc, but when a man starts talking to inanimate objects, it's a short step to the nuthouse. Am I right? Hmm? There is no point in asking the ceiling. How the hell would it know? <laughs> the thing is, lads, we've got to save Woody. He's only a cabin boy, and that bilge is plagued with rats. Mother! And his mother's dead. It's our duty. I take it when you refer to duty, you refer to moral duty, my child. Morals? This is the 18th century, man! Oh, what do you mean? You're just gonna leave that poor soul to his fate? Let's see what our friend the good book has to say first, hmm? But it's Protestant! Oh. <laughs> it's only the blinking froddy job. <laughs> <laughs> Don't die till I get back! Oh. <laughs> well, I say we should rescue him now, and that is final! Forcefully put, sir. <laughs> We have a clear duty, uh, morally speaking, of course, Doc, to leave the little scally where he is. <laughs> this is all right, we can let's go for one! <laughs> oh. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh, right, right, breakfast. Where's that little cabin boy? Cabin boy, boy, in bilge. What? <laughs> Who is? Little cabin boy? <laughs> oh, <that's> <laughs> oh, bless you, Luffy! <laughs> oh, Sora, come on, come on. Come on, Luffy, come with Ed and I'll fix you up with something nice and warm. Come on. <laughs> Sit yourself down. Oh, right. Oh, oh, that's lovely. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's my Larry. Oh, a lovely lad, one Larry. 
He will lead in light in Uddersfield Temperance League. <laughs> that likeness was done during his research phase. <laughs> Dead now, bless him. <laughs> Perforated head. <laughs> oh, you poor scrap. Oh, bless you, puppy. <laughs> You're the first person who's been nice to me, apart from Sir. Oh, there, there. Everyone else just wants to kill me. <laughs> Human nature, Luffy! <laughs> Men! My Larry works same, always killing folk he works! <laughs> just high spirits, really. High spirits? I knew Mr. Slime wasn't a bad man. <laughs> oh, bless you, Luffy! <laughs> he just punished me out of high spirits. I was a bit worried for a while, but no. Everything's gonna work out fine. Just fine. So, you're for high jump at dawn, apparently. Now, what would you like for a final meal? <laughs> That's just a joke. No, it's no trouble, lovey. Isn't it? No, besides, it's traditional. Last breakfast. Now, I can do you. Yeah? Continental. <laughs> English. Or, wait for it, full Scottish. Now, <laughs> that is bacon, egg, tomato, sausage, agus, black pudding, white pudding, Fried bread, tatty scones, toast with marmalade, tea or coffee with single malt chaser, topped off <laughs> with king size porridge for ballast. <laughs> Continentals, coffee with croissant. I don't want any breakfast. Sir was right. This is no place for a fresh faced lad. I'm going home to mother. Right. Let's say that's continental, shall we? Hold the coffee, hold the croissant. <laughs> So it's goodbye then. Yes, sir. Violin time, eh? Yes, sir. Well, goodbye then. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Bless you. Where do you think it will go in then? I'm leaving. Oh, sorry, sonny. Can't be done. Press gang's paid by weight, see? You're only little, granted. But it's all money. They won't let me off, sir. Oh, I'm sure we can come to some little arrangement. Oh, bribes, is it? Well, oh, I couldn't possibly, sir. Shut up. It's wrong. No, 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 no. Wrong it is. Good lad. Backbone. It's good. It's only a bribe. Mind you, having said that, we are artists. Performing artists. Artists who perform. <laughs> As in, see Gareth and die. <laughs> Sorry? Oh, very droll. Do you think so? Only a lot of people say, well, Schumer, what's that then? <laughs> or, uh, well, Schumer, doesn't travel. <laughs> oh, I can assure you, if I'm in need of a good chuckle, I head straight for Aberystwyth. <laughs> The thing is, we are always looking for sponsorships, eh? With us. You mean... Oh, ho, ho, you are quick. He is quick, very quick. Well, that's the same as bribery. <laughs> Isn't it? No, it isn't. Never. It is sponsoring the arts. Exactly. <laughs> well, I'm not having it. Woody! Well, stay where you are, then. Shoots us. Woody! Grovel! Too late, man. Far too late. The only way you'll get off this ship now, Sonny, is with special permission from the top man. Signed permission. <laughs> and you don't get to see him till you're halfway up the bloody channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what am I going to do? Learn to swim? <laughs> Wake the captain and your goose is cooked, <laughs> matey. <laughs> Suicide attempt, is it? I just need his signature on this note. Don't think I haven't thought of it myself. It's urgent. I've thought, Jasper, I've thought, yours is a lonely and meaningless life. Go on, top yourself. <laughs> you do and I would 
I would top myself, but I keep thinking, what if there is a God? <laughs> Look, Aaron, it's urgent. I've got to get off. I mean, did you say off? <laughs> ah, it's permission to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Sign it yourself, matey. But that's forgery. It's wrong, like bribery. Wrong? You'd be helping with the paperwork. He'd thank you for it. In that case, I will help out. <clears throat> uh, you couldn't do us one, could you? <laughs> Go on, please. This is me third trip, matey. Seven more years. I wouldn't mind, but I'm only 14. <laughs> I haven't exactly had much of an own life. <laughs> I said please! <laughs> oh, now he wakes. I wasn't born for happiness, me. Who are you talking to, you <laughs> daft parrot? <laughs> Good morning, sir. Oh, it's you, Mr. May. Request permission to set sail, sir. Certainly not. I give the orders to set sail. Don't get above yourself, man, or I'll have you strung up. Persuasively argued, sir. <laughs> yes, but do I make myself clear? Abundantly, and if I may say so, sir, poetically. <laughs> Oi, fatso! You wish to speak to me, bird? Fatso? But I'm positively svelte. <laughs> Irony. <laughs> Come on, there's only one parrot on this boat. I mean, there was two parrots on Noah's Ark. I mean, the Bible doesn't say two of everything except parrots. I think you'll find it's quite explicit in not saying that. Mm? And of oxen came there two aboard the Ark, and of geese, and of swine also came there two, and one... Parrot. <laughs> Leviticus 3 6. Bless you, Elvis. <laughs> Leviticus. What did he know about parrots? Never again. Stupid bird. Sir, this is not the ship for me. I think I'll hold out for something bigger. But enough of my glowing future. Shake, old friend. <laughs> Did you hear that? Must be my wooden leg. Sounds a bit like a ship at sail. <laughs> That's funny. Portsmouth is moving. <laughs> Off to London, I shouldn't wonder. <laughs> I wonder how that'll affect employment in the area. <laughs> Just a minute. It's not Portsmouth. It's us. We're off. We are? You're at the wheel. What? <laughs> you knew. It wasn't my fault. It was Slime. Mr. Slime? Garen raised the anchor, he said, so I did. So, he gave the order, did he? Well, what a shock he's in for. The captain's gonna string him up. Ta-da! Oh, I doubt it somehow. <laughs> he will. He said so. I was there. This is an outrage. Who set sail? See? I uh, raised the anchor, sir. Sort of. <laughs> you raised the anchor. On my orders, sir. Your orders, Slime. I give the orders to sail. String him up, sir. No chance. I'm with you in theory, <laughs> Elvis, but I merely wish to prepare the groundwork for our voyage, as it were. Listen and learn, Woody. Not as it were to uh, set sail. As it were, as it were. What are you on about, man? Wind doesn't fill the anchor, sir. It fills the... Um... Clever. Sail! We all know that, silly. Precisely. <laughs> Precisely. He's got you now, Woody. Ah, take your point, Slime. Preparing the groundwork, eh? I have no quarrel with that. 
So who is responsible for this? That's easy, sir. It was... String him up, eh? Aye. Aye. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. aye, aye. <laughs> is this an admission of guilt? Young Elvis, I feel, is somewhat overawed by the majesty of your rhetoric, sir. Oh, he's not giving me a trifle. That's what I thought. And yes, it is an admission of guilt. In that case, it's the plank for you, my lad. So, what do you say to that? But... Rhetoric stumped you again, eh? <laughs> Never mind. Get on with it, lad. Get moving. On, on. But, sir... I'll die! We've all got to die, lad. You've just jumped the queue. Les <laughs> amusants, sir. What? Uh, jump the queue. Very uh, comical, uh, jocular. Uh... Funny? Yes. <laughs> Funny, eh? <laughs> <laughs> the plank. <laughs> If I must die, then so be it. I go to my grave with my head held high. Good lad, that fine speech had famous last words written all over it. Immortality guaranteed, I should have thought. But it's not fair! Oops. Just because I'm young and keen, everybody gangs up on me. All I did was show an interest. Now, do move along, Elvis. You're blocking a remarkably fetching sunrise. Desist, Mr. Ray. <laughs> Hold it there, lad. You've touched me. I can't deny it. And when someone touches me, I'm, 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 I'm... Touch? That's the one. <laughs> maybe, just maybe, I've been a tad hasty. Oh, you have, sir, you have. I don't think so. <laughs> Mr. May, desist. You did wrong, lad, but who among us is free of guilt? Well, I like to think of my... We all have something to hide, man. I, too, I, too. Sure, not so. Then let us, therefore, extend the hand of forgiveness to our young friend here and clasp him warmly to our bosom. Indeed, sir. Mr. Mate, I was speaking metaphorically. I'm rather hoping you were, sir. We turn, lad. All is forgiven. It seems I'm to get to know you after all, Master Elvis. Ah! Ah! There you are! Ah, Stanley, your time has come. Oh, there you are. Oh, I'm sorry, Lord Continental's off. Frankie! Frankie! Right, where's the trainee cops? Rejoice! Rejoice! on the ocean wave, eh, Woody? You can't beat it. No! Oh! <laughs> We're sailing in a strange boat Heading for a strange shore We're sailing in a strange boat Heading for a strange shore Carrying the strangest cargo that was ever hauled aboard We're sailing on a strange sea Blown by a strange wind Carrying the strangest crew That ever seen Stop the press. Next week, Mark McGann stars as Michael Dimmock, a rude, vicious, arrogant and boorish journo. The last word, comic asides, next Sunday at nine on BBC Two.